another good bike out by Giant. Oh man, this is getting me uh, getting me aroused. Got is that a rack or a fender mount in there? I'm not sure. I have to contact Giant and Giant Australia maybe to find out. Is that a rack or a fender mount? Something drilled in the fork there. It's very similar frame to the last couple of years. The disc disc defy very similar, but the difference I've picked up is through axles. It comes at fifty thirty four, which is good. Uh, only got a twenty out in the back. Oh, actually, that's thirty two this time. Thirty two better but I'd run a 40 on the back there it depends where you live as well but that beast screw oh that's ready to get wound in and put a 40 on that motherfucker or a 36 the carbon rims are good the SLR giant make good shit their rims are really good the tires so so but just ride the tires so they wear out and then put some GP 4000s and a 28 mil on there and is is that a rack mount on the back is that can you put a rack on there this is a good adventure bike though uh, not a full adventure bike because the clearance of the tires but it's definitely a good all round. You could definitely race a lot of stuff on this. But the clearance, I pump the tires up. Look at that clearance. You put your fucking fist through that. That's really good. So you could put one of the new Crud Road Race uh, Mark Three fenders on there. This is the old T uh, Defy, the Crud Road Racer. Look at that. Crud Road Crud Road Racer Mark Three. I reckon they're gonna fit on these real nice. So that's the main difference: is tire clearance through axles. Tire clearance is what gets me gets me uh, juiced up, man. Look, oh, there's a rack fender. Cut